1 John 4 and verse 12. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love has been perfected in us. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. One of my favorite old stories is about two brothers who lived in a small community. And one of them, both of them, were very immoral people. Uh, They were in a business in which they uh, used it to cheat and swindle many people in the community. Uh, They were amoral, and they had a terrible reputation. Well, one of them died, and the other came to a preacher and, and to his office and asked if he would do the funeral. And the preacher said, uh, sure, I can do that. Well, on his way out, the brother turned and he said, I only have one request. He said, what's that? He said, that you call my brother a saint. And the preacher said, I can't do that. Why, everybody in this community knows what kind of man your brother was. He was amoral and he swindled people and cheated many of the people in the community. Why, I I couldn't possibly call him a saint. And the brother said, well, I'm sorry to hear that because I understand that you are building on to your church facility and and that you were running out of funds and I was going to write a check for $65,000 and give it to you. And the preacher said, wait a minute now, wait a minute, wait a minute. He said, let me think about this and I'll give you my answer tomorrow. Well, the next day the preacher called him up and said, okay, I'll do it. Well, on the day of the funeral, the preacher stood up and he started out by saying, we are participating in this man's memorial service. And as all of you know, this man was a terrible person. He was amoral and he swindled and cheated many of the people in this very room. But compared to his brother, the man was a saint. <laughs> you know, it's it's amazing how that we can feel good about comparing ourselves sometimes with other people. But when we face the judgment day of God, things change. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 that we all have to appear before the judgment seat of God, that each one will receive recompense for the things done in his body, whether good or bad. Now, even the thought as Jesus said, that we'll give an account for every word that comes forth from our mouth is a frightening thought. In Bible class, I, wa- I once asked, how many of you in this room fear the judgment? And almost every hand went up. We fear the judgment. Why? Because we know that we can't pull any wool over God's eyes, that he knows us and that he knows our hearts and he knows the things that we've said and done in our life. And so it can be a very frightening thing. I know I was Bible, I had a Bible study with a a man one time to become a Christian. And he said, you know, when I get before God, I'm going to tell him this and tell him that. And I said, you're not going to tell him a thing. I said, you'll be shaken in your boots and you won't say anything to God. Well, it is true. When we think of the judgment day like that, it can be a a frightening thing. But it's not supposed to be for Christians. As we read in our text from 1 John 4, it says that perfect love cast out fear. And then he tells us about this perfect love. and, And he says this love... Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. That we we don't really have to fear because he says there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. Now, how do we get this perfect love? 
that helps us to face the judgment of God and not be afraid? Well, I think the key is simply this. In the verse it says, and we know and have believed the love that God has for us. Because it's not really about the love we have for God, because our love is imperfect. It's flawed. But God's love is perfect. And God's perfect love sent his son Jesus to pay the penalty for all of our sins. And we know that there is no torment involved because the torment has already been experienced by Christ on the cross. And now the life that I live. Notice what he says in 1 John 4. He says, because, because, why can I have no fear? Because, he says, as he is, so are we in this world. Not only did Jesus pay the price for my sins, but the holy life of Jesus is imputed to me. So much so that this kind of love just blew the mind, if I can use that phrase, blew the mind of John. Because he says in 1 John 3, he says, behold, or take a look at this. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God, you know. And then he says, and such we are. In the NIV, it says, how great is this love? You see, this love is bestowed upon us, but our key to perfecting it so that we have no fear and judgment, is in 1 John 4, where it says, we have known and believed the love that God has for us. It's one thing to know some facts. I know Jesus died for me. I know the Bible says uh, he imputed me with righteousness. I know that. But do I believe that? You see, it's not just know Knowing something, it's believing something. It's living by faith. It's living by a faith that says, as Jesus is now, so are we in this world. And we understand that as Jesus loved the Father, when he said to him, uh, as the Father loved Jesus, when he said to him at his baptism, a voice came from heaven saying, Thou art my son in whom I am well pleased. Yes, we're weak and yes, we sin and yes, we make mistakes and yes, we say things we shouldn't say. But the father is well pleased with his son and as his son is, so are we in this world. And that takes away the fear of judgment. Now believe it. Believe it. We've talked about doubt before. Doubt is judging, literally means judging between the two. Yes, we have feelings and yes, we have concerns, but we have the word of God on the other side. The word of God says that we are living in this world as Jesus. Not because of our righteousness, but because of his now, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Just live and trust in Jesus, and there should be no fear in the judgment day because your love has been perfected. If this podcast has been an encouragement to you, then please go to johndkimbrough.com and hear more. Thank you.